This is my sister and I floating on a boat 14 miles off the coast of the United Kingdom in international waters. Ah, uh, what's happening? <laughs> and she thinks we're here to go whale watching. So we're going to see some magnificent bridges here today. We're not here to go whale watching. It's all a ruse, a trick by me. So I could commit armed robbery against her legally. There aren't any whales. But why? Well, on her finger is the reason. She's wearing a ring that's a family heirloom that was passed down by our grandmother to the both of us. She very much doesn't seem to understand the both of us element and has taken it for herself. This is not on and so I've decided to do the only logical thing by risking going to jail and take what is rightfully mine. Yeah, I've got some guts around here. But doing so legally. So how on earth can you legally rob someone? Well, it's a bit of a grey area, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think the answer lies in an inflatable raft. This video has been sponsored by Adobe Express. Me, you, a coffee, and a plan to terrorise my sister. Oh, it tastes good every single time. My sister, Tally. What a woman. I love her dearly. But she's also a target on this channel for all sorts of japery. No, 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 no. You might think it's unfair that I've had another idea in which I can annoy my sister, but you forget that she won the court case when I sued her. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. So I feel relatively vindicated in robbing her. I think I found a loophole. And the loophole is all about international waters. All countries have control of their territorial waters out to a distance of 12 miles. I'm thinking that if I can get her into international waters, the laws don't apply. So I am then legally allowed to rob her. But another thing I'd have to consider was the legality of committing a crime on the boat we'd be on. The laws of the country owning the vessel or structure upon which the crime has been committed are ah, not good news. So if you committed murder on a boat that was registered to the UK, you'd be tried under the UK law. What if there's like a dinghy? Are dinghies registered? in international waters. Registration is not compulsory, but you may find it beneficial. <laughs> this is good news. So it seems if I manage to commit this crime in international waters in a boat that is not registered anywhere, I can get my ring back. Let's get this ring back. There's probably high likelihood that she won't fall for this. How am I going to get my sister into international waters? And the answer to that question was whale watching. Yes, you heard me right. Now I doubt my sister would just jump in a boat with me and sail off to the horizon for absolutely no reason. So to get her into international waters, the plan was to convince her that I'd been asked to do some filming for a new whale watching company and that there was space on the boat for her to come. Hello. Hello. Quick one. Do you want to come whale watching with me on the 7th of June? Whale watching? Yeah, I've been off with like a nice whale watching trip. I want to take you along. Whale watching? Where? In, in... Good question, Tally. Surprisingly, it is possible to see whales off the coast of the UK, but one place where you almost certainly will not see a whale is where it was cheapest for me to rent a boat. Ramsgate, I think. A whale Yeah, some in the water as well. Okay, let me keep my diary when I get home, okay? Okay. Bye. Come on, Tally. Doesn't even question it. So all I had to do now was create a company out of thin air. Okay, what do I know? On the 7th of July, my sister is going to be turning up to Ramsgate to go whale watching. And all I have right now is a boat there. I haven't invented anything that would suggest that she's actually going whale watching. All I have in my mind for a name of a whale watching company is the organization. In order to sell this, I need to create a company from scratch. Just in case she asks who it is, what they're asking me to do. I am not really a very good graphic designer, but luckily I've got help from Adobe Express, the more accessible version of Creative Cloud. What's Adobe Express and how is it going to help me bring the organization to life? The Adobe Express is the expansion of Creative Cloud and the perfect complementary tool with Photoshop and Illustrator. It's also got generative AI, which means you can ask it to make something and it will just make it. It's literally the closest thing I think we have to magic. I'm going to use it very quickly to create the logo of the organization. 
And also with Adobe Express, you have real-time collaboration. So you can co-edit and people can leave comments about your work. Really exciting that Adobe Express are sponsoring this video. All of my videos come to life with Adobe, so to get them as a sponsor is really blooming cool. Make sure you click the link below to download Adobe Express and click Join Beta. With the organization now a fully fledged organization, it was time for me to find an actor to play our whale watching guide. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our whale watching adventure. Perfect, he'll do. Everything in place, the day of the hold up had arrived, and I went to meet Tally bright and early at the train station. I made this pancreas. The rest of the team is already in Ramsgate and they're setting up the boat and making sure that it looks like an actual whale watching experience. I'm just here waiting for my sister. There she is. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> you got your water proof. While Tally and I started our wholesome sibling day out, the rest of the gang, including Dougie the Whale Guy, Marlon the Organisation Rep, and even a lovely family that I had hired, were ready and waiting, having a lovely time at a local cafe. And I was starting to feel a bit bad, as Tally was actually starting to get quite excited about seeing some whales. So quite big. But we had arrived and there was no turning back now. We made it. Because if I wanted that ring back, it was game time. Hey, Tally. Tally was expecting two of the team to be there filming for the organisation. Aziz and, and Molly are coming. Cause they've asked me down there because they want me to film some content on this new whale watching company. But for this plan to work, she'd have to believe that everyone else on the boat wasn't in on my little scheme and that the organisation was a genuine whale watching tour company. Look like a <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. Our whale watching adventure, my name's Dougie, and I'll be your guide for today's adventure. Hopefully we'll see some wonderful creatures here. Dougie the whale expert was doing his best at blagging some whale facts. They get to 200 tons, their heart is the size of a small car. And I have to say, he was doing a pretty convincing job. What's the orca also known as, anyone know? Killer whale, killer whale. But maybe slightly too convincing for Tally. <laughs> Now they to take it nice and slow because it's just a little bit choppy. As we floated further out to our 12 mile goal and still no whale sightings, Tally started to get a little suspicious. Googling about where the last orca was seen in Ramsgate. And to both of our surprise, she actually found something. Oh, look, in a whale attacks Ramsgate pool boat and bite of rudder. That actually was two years ago. <laughs> two years ago, yes. But what she'd failed to read was that this happened to a crew from Ramsgate but in Gibraltar. They wouldn't do this if it was. After reading the headline and ignoring the article like a true modern day consumer of news, Tally was fully on board, physically and metaphorically. Why has he got a spin on the boat? I don't know. No idea. After a long and bumpy ride, we finally hit 12 miles off the coast of the UK and we were officially in international waters and it was time for the final stage of the plan to go into effect. And this part was actually all on Dougie. Tony's been on the on the sonar and we've heard some stuff we're gonna try and hear some whale song remember that although we were in international waters the boat we were still on was registered to the uk so if i wanted to commit this robbery legally i would need to somehow convince tally to get into the raft who's got some guts we're gonna try something and we'd be doing this by tempting her with the chance to listen to some whale song you've got guts you said you've got guts. right we're gonna try something if you're brave enough We'll get you into the dinghy, get yourself nice and stable, put your ear close to the deck, and you should start hearing something. Yeah. You up for it? Yeah. But I don't, I'm scared. Don't right. worry, don't worry, we'll look after you. I promise yeah. you I'm not going to go in the water. I promise, I promise. What's your name? Tally. Oh my god. Take a seat, get yourself comfortable. As my sister lowered herself into the raft, I'd like to remind you all to make sure you download Adobe Express. Click the link in my description and go be creative. Oh, for God's sake. Thanks. <laughs> Right, now you need to get your ears as close as you can to the bottom of the boat to start listening. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I'm frightened. Right. As you can tell, there aren't any whales. <laughs> After meticulously executing my convoluted plan, creating a whole new company with an entire crew of actors and friends, and persuading her that she was going on a real whale watching tour, I'd finally convinced my sister to step out onto international waters in an unregistered dinghy. We are currently in international waters, and the reason I wanted to get you here is because I wanted to legally commit armed robbery. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 
So I need an offensive weapon. And the reason I needed an offensive weapon? Well, otherwise it wouldn't be armed robbery. Because the definition of armed robbery, according to the 2007 Serious Crimes Act, is robbery involving the use of a firearm or an offensive weapon. And it just seemed nicer than doing it with a firearm. And luckily, I already had the perfect offensive weapon in mind. A rather rude gold statue from a previous video. Everyone on this boat is an actor. Every single person on this no. boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys even had binoculars! I wanted to see a whale! <laughs> I want you to give me the ring that was given to both of us that you have stolen. I don't know. But it turned out I wasn't as intimidating as I perhaps thought. And after all of this, I hadn't anticipated what she'd say next. Are you going to give me the ring? No! Um, I hadn't planned that she wouldn't actually say yes. So you're not going to give me the ring? Okay, um, fine. <laughs>